Jessica Fern is concerned for the future of her nine-year-old son and four-year-old daughter in Lincoln's public schools. The school that my son goes to is a closed campus, which means unless you live within the boundaries of the school, you can't get into that. And the classroom sizes are getting big, so that's how it's going to affect us, which means more kids, less, less teachers. And more kids has been a reason behind growth in the past decade. Lincoln Southwest and Lincoln North Star High Schools were added since 2000, as well as several elementary and middle schools to help handle growth. Lincoln Public Schools Assistant Superintendent Mark Shepard says there is a plan behind it all. It's difficult to project exactly where you're going to need a school because it's going to really be predicated on where the housing uh, comes in and where commercial development occurs. But what we do is we try to get footholds in various areas within the city and just outside the city limits. Another question of growth in schools is where would the money to build new ones come from? Lincoln City Council Member Carl Eskridge says that issue should never be of concern. Approximately two-thirds of every tax dollar goes for public education in Lincoln. So, uh, so that's, you know, from a taxpayer standpoint, how the Lincoln schools deal with, with the increase in population and students. Shepard says areas that have developed greatly include the far north off of 14th Street and south in the Wilderness Ridge area. He believes the consistent growth is good for Lincoln and its schools. It does bring some new energy uh, into the community. Uh, we're one of a handful of school districts in the state of Nebraska that, are, that is experiencing growth. Um, and so we try to stay on top of that, but we also use that growth because we, we get people with new ideas, we get people uh, with high expectations that come into our community and we try to meet those. From 2008 to 2010, LPS added more than 2,000 students to its schools. Despite the efforts to offset the growth, Fern still believes it's a concern going forward. I think that if you get too many too many kids in each classroom because overcrowding is so bad, they just stick them in there that I don't think they're going to have as great of an education or a chance at a great education. Reporting for Newsnet Nebraska, I'm Jake Sorensen.